There may be a future Major League Baseball player or two right in our backyard this summer. And I'm not talking about at NBT Bank Stadium with the Syracuse Chiefs or at Falcon Park with the Auburn Double Days. Do you know about the New York Collegiate Baseball League? There are three NYCBL teams alone in Syracuse this summer. The Syracuse Spartans, Syracuse Salt Cats, and Onondaga Flames. For somebody who's, if they came to a game for the first time though, and saw a New York Collegiate Baseball League game, what kind of baseball are they seeing? They're going to see some high-level baseball. We got some young guys that are out here at the top of their game right now, um, trying to still get a little bit better, but we got some of the best college players in the region, some of the best in the country out here playing every day in this league. And these guys are out here because they want to be here. Sometimes you guys got, got guys that play baseball. We got baseball players out here, guys that show up every single day, um, not just to play the game, but to be here and get better and to win. Um, so every single game you show up to is highly competitive. It's a high level of baseball. Um, and it's a lot of fun. These guys are having fun out here. They get to play baseball every day. For those guys that want to play at the next level, they see what it's like. Not just showing up for the game, but getting there a couple hours out and getting your work working, going over scouting reports, and then just waking up to do it again the next day. What's kind of your goal here? What's what's the next step for you baseball-wise, and how can this league help you with that? Um, just to kind of get my first real taste of Division One baseball. And this league is very competitive, and it's helped me so far become a better baseball player. And I'm very excited for Albany in the fall. What's kind of the process? How do you get, in, do you have to get invited to the league? Do you try out for the league? Like, how do you become a member of the league and, and end up playing for the Spartans? Generally, it's through some kind of, like, connection with your college coach. And for me, my OCC coach, I kind of had a connection with uh, JJ Richard at RGM. So that, that was my path. For other guys, it's usually their own college coaches have a connection and they kind of just get them place to different teams around the country. So what we what we try to concentrate on on a daily basis is, is our hitting. Uh, we work extensively on hitting daily and we work on defense, but I would say the priority is the offensive part of the game. So what are the main things you want to work on in, your, in a league like this day to day? Uh, definitely consistency at the plate. Uh, you know, I'm known for hitting balls pretty pretty hard, you know, so of course uh, a big part of my game is uh, being more consistent with a power hitter, you know, with the big swings comes you know, swing and misses and stuff, but the payoff is, you know, being able to put the ball in the fence at a given point, you know, and maybe turn it a game, just one swing. You're getting players from all over the place that are coming together. So they're working on baseball, but how do they work on their chemistry? Are they hanging out outside of the field? Like, how do you get a team together in such a quick period of time? I'll tell you, Brent, in, in all my years of doing the college stuff, it's like a phenomenon. From day one, you know, we, we meet a couple of days before the season starts, and it's almost like, They've known each other forever, it just happens.